Young Christians from across the UK and beyond caught the vision for speaking of Jesus in public life at the fourth annual Wilberforce Academy, March the 25th to the 27th. Speaking at the opening banquet at Trinity College in Oxford, Lord Carey drew parallels with William Wilberforce and the Academy, saying it existed to maintain a public witness and stand for Jesus just as much as Wilberforce did in his day. And Lord Carey concluded with this challenge. You are more like shock troops who are called to lead in the battle, to challenge our political leaders, to stand along brave Christians as you have done already in law courts. You are here to take the fight wherever it leads. It's never been easy, but the Lord never promised us an easy ride. The aim of the three-day academy is to equip the next generation of Christian leaders in public life. And just after Lord Carey's speech, we asked a number of the delegates how they'd already been impacted on their first day there. This is the first day of the Wilberforce Academy and I would just like to say it's been an amazing experience. It's been very challenging, thought-provoking and it's a very intense experience. So one slogan I'm taking away is change people, change cultures and that's what I intend to do when I walk out of here. It's great to see uh, what's actually happening over the long term. Uh, the guys that have been speaking have just got such vision as to how the, how the UK has been changing. Throughout the three days, delegates from a wide range of educational and employment backgrounds, including law, media, business, politics and social action, heard some key sessions led by high-level academics, lawyers, clergy and campaigners. Speakers equipped delegates with a biblical and theological framework for engaging in public debate. Bishop Michael Nazir Ali explained the triple jeopardy of aggressive secularism, radical Islamism and multiculturalism currently faced by the West. Roger Trigg, Emeritus Professor of Philosophy at the University of Warwick, highlighted the importance of religious freedom as a cornerstone for other vital freedoms. And a number of Christian Legal Centre clients, including Gary McFarlane, shared their stories of how they've been marginalised for taking a stand for Jesus in the public square. And we sent our roving reporter Emily Graves out and about to speak to the delegates to find out what their highlights were and what they would take away from this year's Wilberforce Academy. I think coming to Wilberforce has um, helped me to be able to renew my faith, renew my strength in um, my purpose in life and to be able to feel that um, I'm not alone. Intense but I've learned so much, it's just been amazing and really inspiring. I think it's been an eye-opener in many ways and uh, it definitely put some fire into your bones. Inspirational, learning. What's been amazing for me personally is um, coming together in a place where you have like-minded, young, vibrant, you know, energetic Christians who are looking to go out there and also to um, just to make an impact in the marketplace.